What's happening Amers? Dan here for West Ham Fan TV bringing you another transfer video. Now we haven't as, had as many of these as we wanted to put up lately because there's been nothing to talk about. It has been really slow, really quiet, not much movement in the transfer market. So unfortunately not been much to talk about. But there was a very interesting story that came out last night about Theo Walcott. West Ham are interested in a £25 million bid. Now, I'm going to talk about the likeliness of this and, you know, the validity of the story and all that sort of stuff afterwards. So, before anyone sits there and comments and going, oh, West Ham, he's never going to come to West Ham. You know what you get, you get the trolls, right? I'm going to talk about how likely it is in a bit. But, what I want to talk about first is, would this be a good signing for West Ham? And the answer is, of course it'd be a good sign for West Ham. You know, I'm seeing a lot of people saying, why are we going for Walcott? You know what I mean? We can do better than that. Like, you have to remember, we are West Ham, right? We had a terrible season last year. We had a terrible transfer window. Walcott, Fear Walcott would walk into our team. The guy scored 19 goals in 33 appearances last season for Arsenal. And considering we sorely lacked goals last season, he'd be a welcome addition to the team. He can play on the wing or up front, so we've got that variety there. He's an England international. Like To me, I think, obviously I like IU a lot. I think IU's a really good player. I think he gets in ahead of IU. Obviously, Faguli, Snodgrass. Now, his main position as is right winger, but he can play on the left, which is somewhere where we need someone. We need a player that can play on the left. Um, to me, ideally, I'd like an all-out left winger. But if you get if you get him Theo Walcott, who can play left, right, or up top, it's a no-brainer. So imagine him on the left, Antonio on the right, or vice versa, you know. And like I said, Giroud up top. But you know, it's madness that I'm seeing people on Twitter saying, you know, Ah, Giroud, Walcott, we shouldn't be going for them. We can do better than that. I, I don't see how we can do better than that. Who who can we get that's better? Like realistically, at West Ham. You know, so it's going to be a struggle signing these players alone. The thing is as well with Walcott, he's a proven Premier League player. Played at the highest level, Champions League, won, you know, FA Cups. That's what we need. We need proven players. You know, it's all well and good having some sort of player that's been hyped from some, you know, European league that's good on FIFA. But have they done it in the Premier League? Can they do it in the Premier League? Um, and I think that... Players like Walcott and Giroud would be a massive, massive improvement to our team if we can sign them. Let me know in the comments, do you think we should sign Theo Walcott? We should try and sign Theo Walcott. Do you think that's a good um, target if he'd be good for West Ham? Um, I'll put a little poll up, you can vote on that. Uh, now, how likely is it to happen? Unfortunately, I can't see us pulling this one off. With the way Arsenal is in the season they had last year and the fact that they could probably be losing Alexis Sanchez and I think they're going to sort of struggle to bring in players, many players, to improve on their first team. So they're going to need Walcott badly. So Wenger is going to want to hang on to him if he can. Um, now, the thing is with Walcott, the little sort of saving graces, I remember, uh, I think it was a few seasons ago, when he was sort of looking to leave Arsenal because he wanted to play as a striker. That's the position that he really sees himself as, as a, a striker. So if we could offer him that, then that might help convince the player. You know, we, we give him the wages he wants. Well, we give him decent wages and not, you know, necessarily the wages he wants, but we give him good wages. We, you know, say first team football all the time. You're going to be the star man. Um, and you're going to play the position you want to play, you're going to be a striker. And we, obviously there'll be times we need him on the wing. But I think that's the way you could convince him. And then just flashing the money. Like 25 million, that's a good amount of money I think for, for Theo Walcott. So like I said, I, I can't see Arsenal letting him go. Um, and if they do, we just have to offer the right money um, and all that. It all depends on how they do in the transfer market. That's what, So that if that does happen, don't expect it to... Uh, come into pass until sort of the end of the window if we if we are fortunate enough to get him. A quick update on another Arsenal player that's been talked quite a lot about and is our main target is Olivier Giroud. Now 
it's come out that Leon wants to do a part exchange for Giroud for Lacazette. It's probably going to be a Giroud plus cash maybe or a straight swap. But Arsenal are looking to sign Lacazette and Leon wants Giroud in the process. So that's a bit of a dent to our hopes of signing Giroud. Um, but it all depends on how much Giroud wants to stay in London. Obviously he's from France and all that, but he's I mean he's lived in London for a long time now, he's settled here, his kids are probably, you know, going to school here. So it all depends on the London factor. So if he can dig his heels in and say, no, I want to stay in London, make Arsenal just spend the money on Lacazette, just pay the money out, um, and then hopefully get some of that back, 20 million of that, on Giroud. So he's a player I would really, really like to sign. So talking about a player that could be leaving West Ham, it has come out that Enna Valencia is on his way out of the club and going back to Mexico. So a lot of fans uh, will be happy to hear that. His last season at West Ham, or the season before last, last season at bowling, he didn't have a good season at all. Uh, he was pretty bad. His finishing for West Ham was awful. His touch was awful. I just don't think that he's... Premier at the level of the Premier League. I don't think it's his level. He sort of he done okay from what I'm hearing from Everton fans last season, but obviously they weren't interested in signing him. And he's going back to looking to go back to Mexico. Now, I think that's his level, to be honest. He's gonna go there and he's gonna score a ridiculous amount of goals. The only worry I have about him going to Mexico is we're almost certainly gonna make a loss. We paid about 10, 12 million for him at the time from Mexico when we signed him. Um and I can't see them paying anywhere near that to get him back. I don't think the money's there. I could see us probably selling for like five, six million, making a loss. But at this point, you'd take it. One thing I will say about Valencia is he did all he tried. He always tried hard. You know, he worked. So you can't take that away from him. He just wasn't good enough. So good luck, Valencia, in Mexico if you go there. One last thing I want to sort of touch on is this sort of thing that's been going around about that uh, Henry Onyekuru that we haven't not signing him because we don't want to pay the extra 870k for his release clause. I think it's like basically 8.8 .8 million or 7.8 million, something like that for his release clause. And apparently we only want to pay, I think it is 8.8 .8 and we only want to pay 8 million. Um, I don't believe that for a second, right? I do not believe that if we want this player, if we want to sign Henry Onyekuru, Right, but they want an extra 870k. I don't believe that we've gone and said, nah, that's too much. Uh, that's just ridiculous. If we want the player, we would pay that extra money. There's got to be something else to it. Whether, you know, it's something to do with, I'm hearing, um, work permits and other bits and pieces like that. Or it could just be the fact of, you know, there's other targets we want to put our focus on at the moment and we'd sort of not sure of him. I don't believe for a second that they've gone, whoa, 870k, more oh, sod that. Nah, I, I don't believe that. So, um, you know, say whatever you want about the board, but I don't think they're that tight. That's just, that's a whole new level there. Uh, so, and looking at this transfer window, obviously there's a lot of sort of panic and things that we haven't got signings done and things like that. And there's, so there's people sort of panicking, there's people saying, oh, it's early doors, yeah. I mean, I can I can totally see why people are worried because the se the transfer window we had last uh, season, you know, it has created a lot of sort of nervousness in during this window because we don't not we do not want a repeat of last the last window last summer. I'm trying to like if you see me on social media right on Twitter at Dan at the Lawless by the way, um, I'm trying not to touch too much on transfers or say what I think and. I'm trying not to. I'm just trying to wait and see. That's all I'm doing is I'm waiting to see what happens before I before I give my thoughts. Wait until that deadline day closes. Now I've said I said since January I'm going to give the ball to the end of the window before I make any judgment. So this is their time to prove to us that they have ambition because we need to show ambition, not just for players that we're trying to sign, but players that we already have at the club like Lanzini, like Kiare, like Antonio that want to see that we're trying to move in the right direction. So we need to show that ambition. So I'm going to give them the benefit that I'm going to give them a chance. They've come out and they've been pretty quiet. 
um, which is a credit to them. So all these, all this other stuff that's come out, right? You, we don't know how true it is. We don't know if it's happening. Um, so there's no point in getting ourselves worked up over something that we might not be going for any of these players. You know, it might not, it might not be happening. They might have other players that they're sort of working on deals for or, or things like that. Like this is all second-hand information. So I would say that. So that's why I'm trying not to get too um, too angry about it or things like that. I'm just trying to wait to see when the deadline day closes, who have we signed. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the transfer targets that I've talked about. If there's anyone else that you think that we should be signing. And are you panicking? How do you feel about this window? You know... Do you think we're going to do the business? Have you got faith or have you got zero faith and we're just going to sign crap? Also, we've got Thames Ironworks Community Football Club. We are, we've picked the team. We're going to be announcing the team officially soon on that channel. So keep updated with that. Keep updated with this channel because then we'll point you guys over and we'll have some updates here and on Twitter. We've got a game. Hopefully we're playing next week against Ball Street. So look for that. We're going to film that, put that up. And we're starting to sort of get to know the players, all of that sort of thing. Don't forget, we have got the shirts on pre-sale. We've sold like nearly 70 shirts on pre-sale without kicking a ball. So that's a big testament. So thank you everyone that's bought a shirt so far. I think they're bloody nice, you know. If you want to get it, I'll put a link down below. If you could check out my channel, Dan and Jace, that would be lovely. So again, it's been slow. We've sort of been... One is we do most like transfer videos on news. We cover the news, but we also do some FIFA stuff and all sorts of bits and pieces around football. But there's been bugger all to talk about. So, but yeah, if you go over and give a subscribe, that'd be great. Ryan will probably be out with the next transfer video. Hopefully, there's bloody more to talk about. I really hope there's more to talk about for Ryan because it has not been easy. Thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments below. One thing left to say: come on, you irons. <laughs>